When Mr. Sumine did what every decent person should do and was vocal in his support to TVP World Journalists and TVP World Crew, he immediately felt what we, journalists of TVP, feel for a very long time. A smearing campaign against him, organized by the infamous duo of Anne Applebaum uh, and Radek Sikorski. Of course, Radek Sikorski wasn't active in it, as he is an acting foreign minister of Republic of Poland. But this particular event, the thing that happened to a man who did a lot to help Ukraine in its struggle against Russia, is a very good example of the crooked reality and twisted narratives that are part of our new history that we described in a docu-series reset. A docu-series that is describing how Poland, the state that was a victim of communism, was trying to build its new good relations with Putin's Russia when Donald Tusk, current prime minister of Republic of Poland, was in this office for the first time. He infamously said during his first parliamentary speech that he's going to talk to Russia as Russia is. And everyone who was opposing was smeared as a fascist, as a undemocratic representative of the regime of PIS party. Sergei Sumien got nothing to do with the PIS party. I even do not know his political views. I know that he is describing the Putin's regime as it is. And he did what everyone should do, seeing the police uniforms storming offices of any news station. This is what happened to TVP World, but this is also something that happened to TVP Info, the biggest Polish cable news network. Look at it. I'm inside the newsroom of the biggest cable news network in a country of 40 million people. This is a station that since it was established never felt asleep. Because the reality doesn't stop. So in this office, until this day, always someone was working. Not anymore. For about five days, TVP Info is switched off. It is not broadcasting. Because the new government with Donald Tusk, a prime minister, and Radosław Sikorski, a foreign minister, and Bartłomiej Sienkiewicz, culture minister, who in his political life, or actually before he became a politician, was a colonel of the Polish secret services, and now is a minister of culture. Those people are responsible for the new reset policies. The reset policies that begin with storming offices of media, Polish television, Polish press agency, and Polish radio.